Hello YouTube, this is Russian Torts here, and for today's video I want to talk about vacation time because most of you are going to run into this problem when you're on, when you're I don't know, even when you're a kid, when you're older you have pets and you want to go on vacation so what do you do when you have pets and you go on vacation? it's an issue that affects me right now because I'm going on uh, give me one second, the camera is messing around there we go um, because I'm going on vacation and I have Patilla, I got the lizards, which I'm trying to get rid of still, Shinigami, and now as well a puppy. So what do you do when you have all these pets? So um, there's a couple of options. My option is free, which obviously is the best way to go. So first thing you want to do is uh, check with your family and your friends if they can take care of um, your pets. So for me, my parents are watching uh, Shinigami and Patilla, and my roommate, who Ali also belongs to, we got her together, um, is watching Ali. So I don't have to pay for them, right? If you don't have family that can watch your pets, because let's say you're going on, you're going on a vacation with your family, and you don't have any friends that you trust with your pets because the care is complicated. So I don't know. Let's say you have a Savannah monitor or something huge. Um, that requires lots of food, specialty diet, you might not trust just random friends. Um, there's always the option of uh, finding a pet sitter. Now it's a little bit more difficult to find a pet sitter for reptiles because um, reptiles are a little bit more complicated to take care of than uh, let's say dogs or a bird. So it's going to be hard to find a pet sitter for your reptiles. However, they do exist, and um, one way to find a local pet sitter for reptiles is to um, check your local uh, groups, so Facebook groups, um, <laughs> I don't know what other kind of groups, I guess forums, and check for a pet sitter in your area. They usually have advertisements on that page. So for example, I'm in Ottawa, I'm part of the Ottawa Area Reptile Club, which is a Facebook group. And I constantly see ads on there for people that offer pet sitting services for reptiles. Issue with that is it's fairly expensive. So I'm going to Germany for two months and um, two months worth of pet sitting. Let's say they take $30 a day. You can do the math. $30 a day, two months, that's 60 days. You're looking at a lot of money. <laughs> You're looking at $1,800 roughly, which... Uh, is more than the plane ticket to Germany, so that's a lot of money. Also, Patilla is not very exciting right now. She is, uh, she's being a little lame. Hmm, Patilla? What are you doing? Move. <laughs> so, that's going to be a little bit of a more expensive option. However, if you're going on a short trip, so if, let's say a uh, weekend vacation, um, that would be an option. You also, um, there's a difference, there's some pet sitters that uh, will offer to go to your house and watch your pet, and then there's pet sitters that uh, will need you to uh, drop the pet off at their place. Again, this is more easy to achieve with dogs and cats because they don't have their special environments that they need. There's Shinigami, by the way. She's still doing good. So this is easier with dogs and cats. Um, for example, I couldn't really drop off Patilla somewhere because they need to have space for a four foot by four foot cage. So most people don't. For reptiles, it's really easier. Someone poked out her head. For reptiles, it's a little easier if you have um, the person come over to your house. However, for that to happen, you need to trust them, right? Because if you have them coming over to your house, you give them your key, they can steal your money valuables, that sort of thing. So you don't really want to find some random person. You want to find someone with a reputable business who's been doing this for a little bit of time. They're going to be more expensive again, but it's worth it if you think that, think about that, your pet's health and uh, your valuables are at stake there. Um, another good way to find a pet sitter is uh, to go to your local pet store. So I work at a pet store in Ottawa at a pet circus and um, we have a bunch of uh, pet sitting services that like drop off a little uh, brochures and stuff that we can give to people if they ever ask for pet sitting services. So if you can't, can't find them online, uh, your local pet store might uh, know of a business and can direct you there. 
However, best option is always to get family and friends to watch after them, just because it's free and um, you can stay in contact with your family easily. And yeah, biggest thing, it's free. It's really the biggest benefit. So that's what you should do when you're going on vacation. It's just some tips. Um, family, friends, finding a pet sitter. And it really it all depends on your situation. So there's no right answer. If you have, if you don't have family and you have a huge pet, you're going to need to find a pet sitter that comes to your house. It's going to be probably a little bit more expensive because they have travel costs associated with that. Uh, if you have a little pet, so let's say a Pac-Man frog that lives in a 10-gallon well, it's going to be easy for a pet sitter to find space in their house for that. And um, best thing, of course, is always family. So I hope this um, video helped you out. Now that we're done talking about uh, the topic of this video, I guess we can digress a little bit. So I'm going to Germany in, today's the 12th, I'm leaving on the 25th, so I guess that gives me 13 days. Yeah, Saturday in two weeks. And um, this is probably going to be my last video before I leave, um, seeing how I don't really have any other topics that I can think about right now. First monthly update is going to be in Germany on June July 1st, July 1st, yeah. So July 1st, I'm going to upload a video. Then I'm going sailing with my sister for a couple of days, so I'm not going to be able to answer questions during that time. And yeah, videos are going to slow down even more while I'm in Germany just because I don't really have my pets to do videos about. I'm still obviously going to answer questions every day, so I'm still going to be active in that sense. I'm just not going to be uploading as many videos. I've also been thinking about uh, starting while I'm in Germany, uh, doing a little uh, pro project with uh, some aquatic animals, so uh, some uh, shrimp, some freshwater shrimp. I was thinking about making a little freshwater shrimp vase with some red cherry shrimp, something like that. But we'll see about that when I'm in Germany. And yeah, so far that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.